Today we're unboxing Brass, our newest edition from Kickstarter. I'm Mark Maya, welcome to Board Game Coffee. All right, now, before we get started, I'd like to remind everybody about the subscribe button. Give it a little tippity-tap and you'll stay up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Okay, let's open some boxes. It's a heavy one. Huh? Kinda winded. Now, you know a box is heavy when they have to put this little orange warning sticker on it. Some serious gaming. Okay. Now, first off, I gotta say, this is the prettiest brown box we've had to date. I mean, look at that. I mean, I thought it was neat that Rising Sun had a little Rising Sun sticker on the side, but this is, they've got their own brown box, right? Fancy. Get my knife. Let's open this up. You know, I figure that's just them making up for their last, uh, or I guess the first run of this game, which was apparently very ugly. I, well, I did take a look at it, but all I know about brass, here's what I know about brass. I know brass is ugly. That's what everybody tells me. I actually have to ask people, but how was the game? Because every time I ask people, how was Brass, the original, everybody tells me that game is ugly. That's the first thing everybody says. So I specifically have to ask people, how does it play? Their answer, it's awesome. So that's pretty good. That's saying something. If a game is ugly and people still enjoy playing it, ah, that says a lot about the game design. And when you look at that, more boxes inside the big boxes. All right, I gotta tip this over. Yeah. That's, I, I can't, it's like this big box is having little box babies. I can't get, <laughs> I gotta go in there. I think I, think I need to use a different feature on my knife. Hold on. We're gonna get the hook. Yeah. This uh, let's get, let's move this out of the way. There's too much box, too much box. All right, leave that there for now. Okay, hey, look, it's got even more like branding on the brown box. What do we got here? Deluxe. Let's see what we have. Now, I don't actually remember this Kickstarter. I get way too many Kickstarters. And I honestly don't, it's like a surprise every time I open these boxes. Like, I don't, I don't remember what this is. Brass, Birmingham? Was, it, was this the exclusive Kickstarter exclusive thing? Was this the extra that I had to pay for? Mm. Let's see. Ooh. Pretty. It's, uh, the artwork is really nice. It's got a nice embossed, um, I was gonna say gold, but you know, brass. Seems like a safe bet. You know what, I'm gonna put this one down for now. Right, let's open one box at a time. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like they're making up for that ugly game. So now I guess we got something pretty and fun to play. That's gotta make it better, right? All board games are better when they're pretty and good. They gotta be good too, obviously, like fun to play. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice quality box. It's got some embossing on the side here. They went all out. That's some premium boxing. Ready? Here we go. Okay. 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 I'm getting giddy. <laughs> My cheeks are getting all tingly. All right, we got cardboard. That got a bunch of punch outs, and the punch outs are wrapped too. This has got like quality written all over it. It's not punching anything out just yet. Okay, oh, I guess these are player specific. I mentioned I've actually never played brass, so I don't know anything about this game. Okay, 
the, I'm punching out the punch outs without wanting to. So we have three different colors. It looks like purple, purple, brown, gray, and let's say three, four different colors, and yellow. Those over there. Oh, comes this little fancy. That's like what you get in those upper class stores. Or I guess inside any button shirt you buy at Sears. And here's the rule book. All right, let's, get, let's give it a little flip. Hmm. Looks like a well laid out rule book. That looks like an intense board. I actually don't know if this table is big enough to contain this board or the camera is pulled back far enough. We'll soon see. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> we'll see now. Right. Let's see what we got here. Move this a bit. Nice. Now, if you've seen the original uh, brass board, you'd appreciate how pretty this version is. That's really cool. Okay, cool. It's a nice little map. I don't know what any of this means. Let's see, check it the other side. It's multi-sided. Is that nighttime versus daytime? The little the little buildings and the artwork on the on the board. Like all the stuff that's happening in the background looks really nice. I think this might be nighttime versus this. Yeah. Daytime. And the other side's nighttime. Cool. And this is a, like a good quality board, like nice thick stock. Everything. Everything is quality. Ooh. Look at that. It's like got an embossed logo or branding. It says brands. And we got this. Why is this one wrapped up? What is it? Oh, these must be player boards. It's, everything seems so delicate, like all the packaging is so delicate and proper. Okay, so yeah, these must be the player boards. Cool, well, there's four of those, they look the same. They're double-sided. Hmm? Like all these little things just to keep everything nice and neat and separate. We got baggies. I've mentioned this before. I like when games give you baggies for sorting. These are the same color, but they're different shapes. Let's see, do they fit on your board? Maybe they fit on the game board. I don't see anything specific to that shape. It must be on the game board. I, I gotta check, I gotta see, where's the game board? Maybe something. It might be on there. I can't find it. This is not the time nor the place. And then we got the same bits and in round form. All right, one for each player, I'd assume. Ooh, very Halloween-y. Orange and black. Nice, okay, I'm dropping these. Oh, there's more embossings over there. Can't make what that is from here. Oh! More here. Everything, even though they put a lot of work even to the little trays. These, like little barrels. These are nice wooden components. They look like wooden barrels. I'm holding things a little shaky today. It's because I went to the gym for the first time in months. And as you can see, I am vibrating a little bit. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Oh, they've got a nice, nice texture. The cards feel nice. And I love the little, all the little details in, in the cities of, on these cards. It's really nice. 
We'll post pictures of all these, of course, in this video. Well, not all of them in the video. Oh, he looks like he's busy up to something. Oh, and there's your reference cards. Stick, find a place for these. There. Look at here. This, this is heavy. Whoa. Not knowing what was in this box, this is awesome. I can't, I want in. I want in, I don't know how to get in this thing. It looks, it's like, it's poker chips. I don't know what the poker chips are. This thing is really heavy. It's like a gold brick. And look, it's got these little wooden, like, this are wooden. It's got these little cardboard dividers for like everything. Is it necessary? No. Do I appreciate it? Yes. Okay, I'm afraid to open this and, how do I, is this taped? Let me stroke, ah, I see. No, that stops from going down. I don't know what stops from going up. Ah, got it. <laughs> Apparently just weak. It says iron clays on the top. You probably can't see that since it's transparent. But yeah, it's embossed. I just love the detail in this game. Well done. These are heavy. These are like legit poker chips. Oh, they're nice. These are really nice. They're also embossed. All those little details. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just feeling the sticker. It's really nice. So these are about the weight of actual poker chips. They're made of the same thing. Let's open these ones. Different denominations. It's not open all of them, but I, I do want to see the darker colored ones. So we get your tens, your twenties. What are these? These were ones. Put those back in there. These are ones. These are ones, and these are fives. Those in there. It's a nice little holder. That's really nice. Okay, well, that's the end of box number one. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. All right, let's open the next box. Let's make some room. Let's take it over there. Oh, these are, wow. I almost, I almost lost it there. To, I don't want to go too deep and cut any of this prettiness. I like where this is going already. We got one white box and we got, you probably guessed it. Flip this around. Oh, it's heavy. One black box. Ooh, let's turn that around so I can see it. Lancashire. I think I like the art on the black box better, but they're both gorgeous. This game looks meaty. Okay, all right. Oh, hold on. Let me take a moment to push this stuff out of the way so I don't get contacts mixed up. Okay, this table's getting a little cluttered. This is a lot of game. Okay, I get to do this twice in one day. As you know, if you see my box openings, unboxings. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Looser than most lids. Oh, what do we got here? Another rule book. You know, what I like about big, thin rule books where all the information's all spread out, not as intimidating. So we got some bios on characters here. I'm not gonna read those. I'm not gonna do it. We got too many games to get through. I appreciate that they're there. All right. Got another board. All 
right. Another pretty board. There's a lot of tracks going on, some coal mining. Looks like it has a lot of similarities to the other board, but in different spots. Now, actually, I'm assuming this one's double-sided. I actually didn't take note when I was opening it. Let's see. It is. Aha. Very nice, again, same as the last board. Great artwork and great quality of components. It's a nice thick board. That's a heavy game. And these look just like the ones in the white box. Ooh, there's more stuff in here. Oh, we've seen these in the white box. I don't know if they're exactly the same, but... Oh no, hold on, I don't think there was a... Eh, they might be the same. I don't know. But these are different. The, all the artwork is incredible. It's really nice. You've come a long way, Brass. You've come a long way. Boats, and we got this little uh, train, train, steam powered something. Is that a train or a giant car? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Train or giant car? Oh, who's that guy? It's just we'll punch those. They're just falling out. We'll put those back in there. Now we know what these are. Player boards. Let's see if they're the same. Oh, the back's different. Because I think the other ones were double sided. If I remember correctly, they were double sided. This one is not. Okay. And on the back, this is brass. Nice. Okay. Got the same embossing, except we're going with the orange theme instead of the blue from the white box. We got more more baggies, can never have too many baggies. More orange things, you've already seen these. Oh, that thing's new. You've seen these shapes before. I don't recall, I don't recall this little pig. He's new in the black box. You've seen these. Those closed, and we have cards. Well, we've seen cards in the white box, but are they different cards? only one way to find out. Yeah, these are different. Different artwork on them. Some each color is a piece of different different art on it. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, these are really nice. Great artwork. Well done. And more reference cards. Put those there. And, you know what? I'm gonna guess more poker chips. And just as heavy. Okay, these, I'm gonna open up just to make sure, because it's got like a blue tinge, yeah. They're the same denominations, the same chips. That's why these boxes are so heavy. This is heavy. Guess you can keep these wrapped up, and if somebody gets out of line, you just clunk them. Don't, don't do that. Make peace, not war. And that's it. That is. Okay, well that's the unboxing of brass or brasses or brass eye. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, we're putting them out every week. So subscribe here, and we'll keep you up to date on everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. If you want to see more videos right now, click here. And if that's not enough, check us out on Instagram where we post new pictures daily. I'm Mark Maya, this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.